Today we're going to be journeying into one of your past lives. It will be a life selected for you by your spirit guides, your angels or archangels, the many beings that are watching over you as you're going through your human experience. Know that in this human experience you are never alone and there are always beings of light that are supporting you day in and day out who are in tune to your every mood, your every thought, and to your every need, and they're here to help you. Today, they have a past life for you that they would like for you to explore because that past life contains a lesson, a memory, something that you need in order to be able to move forward in your current life. There is something in that life that you need to discover right at this moment. That is why it is no coincidence that you are even listening to this recording right now. There are many ways for your guides to contact you, and this is one. And they are very, very happy that you have decided to go on this journey with us today. Settle in comfortably. You may sit or lie down. As long as you are comfortable, there is no right or wrong posture. So settle in, make yourself comfortable. Close your eyes. You want to start breathing in and out. Letting the air flow into your body, filling in every cell of your body with light, silvery blue air, the purest air you have access to on this planet. So you want to just breathe that air freely and then let it Take its journey through every cell of your body and then leave on the exhale. So keep going, just breathe in that beautiful pure air freely and then breathe out. Breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your mouth. Let the air flow through the nose and on the next exhale, Send it down to the tips of your toes and exhale through the soles of your feet, enabling that air to purify you and to calm you, washing over a sense of peace and gratitude all over your body. Now imagine that you are standing in the deep waters of a river. It is a river of time. This river feels familiar to you, although you might not be able to recall why or when you have seen this river. The river of time is wise. It is always surrounding you in this dimension. The river of time flows freely. It, know no, it knows no bounds. It permeates different dimensions, different epochs, different millennia, different planets. There is absolutely nothing that is not achievable for this river. Feel the warm flow of that river. Feel it as it's caressing your toes. Dip your fingers into this water. Feel its warm caress on your fingers. It's a very calming, soothing sensation. Imagine that you're standing outside and there is a starry sky right above you. Look up at the stars. There are so many. And then there is one star that catches your eye, the one star that 
shines brighter to you than the rest of them, the one star that is calling your name. This star is going to be your guide today. This star is going to make sure that you are experiencing a deep connection with this experience. It will ensure that you are able to go really deep and see everything that you're meant to see without interruption, without much effort. Imagine as the light that shines through the star is falling in light gilded particles on top of your head and enters through the top of your head through your crown chakra. Imagine that this starlight flowing down, down, down through your body and then making its way to the soles of your feet and then exiting through the soles of your feet connecting and grounding you to Mother Earth to the center of Mother Earth to her heart now that you're blessed by both the river of time as well as your little star guardian you are able to start your journey. You may start walking. Start walking onto a bank of the river and feel the grass under your feet. The grass is soft and warm and it feels really, really good to you. Start walking into this night, beautiful night garden, down a path that feels very, very familiar. Just like the river of time, it sounds like you've been here before. It feels like you've potentially been here many, many times over, and now the slight recollection is coming back to you. Keep walking with me down this path through the trees. The moon is shining up in the sky. It is making sure that there is enough light for you to be able to see your way through to a well. So you are approaching an ancient well. This well is made of stone. And this well, as you look into it, looks empty and dark, but it's not the scary kind of darkness, but the soothing darkness, kind of like that of your mother's womb. It feels inviting. It feels good. It feels right to you. So as you are ready to journey into this past life that your guides have selected for you, you can trust that this past life is going to be at the bottom of the well, this particular well that your guides have led you to today. Climb on, on top of this well. It's very easy, it's not a very hard climb at all. And look down. Take a couple of deep breaths. and jump right in. Jump right into this beautiful well and start falling. Start falling down, down into this darkness, into this ancient well that can connect you to any time period in the past. This well is deep and it's also wise. It knows everything about you. It has seen and has been present to all of your past lives. It has been there as a silent companion, sometimes as a guide, sometimes as a teacher, sometimes as a silent onlooker. Whatever you were doing, this wise force, force of nature has always been present watching over you. So as you're falling down, 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 
allow yourself to fully succumb to the feeling of surrender. Don't worry about anything. Let your mind become clear and allow yourself to surrender to this powerful force, this pull of gravity that is bringing you down, down, down. You're starting to see the light at the end of the well. And in a few moments, you know that you would, your fall would be over. So as this light at the end of the well is approaching you, allow yourself to gently hit the ground and just land at the bottom of the swell. As you find yourself at the bottom where it's light, you realize that you're sitting. You are in a seated position. You can look at yourself, look at your hands, look at your fingers first and get present to what this body that you find yourself in looks like. Are the hands that you're seeing masculine or feminine? Are they young or are they old? Are they pretty and aristocratic? Do they have calloused fingers? Are they rough? Are they the, the fingers of somebody who is working hard? Feel free to stand up and look at your clothes as well. What are you wearing? Is it a dress? Is it trousers? What can you see? Get present to what you are wearing and who you are. Now you can start walking in this particular incarnation. And you can walk and you know that you are walking up to where you are living might be a house, a home. Where is your home? Can you find your home? What does it look like, your home, as you observe it? Is it a house, an apartment, an estate, a cave? Whatever that is, there is no wrong answer here. Enter your home, whatever that is, and look around. What do you see? Do you see a table? Chairs? Is it a rich home or a poor home? Does it have a lot of furniture inside or barely any? Who are you in this life? What do you do? Do you remember? What do you do? What is your occupation? Do you have family? Do you remember your parents? Who are your parents? So as you look around, you may also choose to go to a place in this home, in this house, whatever that is, that is most near and dear to you. Connect with that spot. Why did you like it so much? What was so special? Did it give you a feeling of safety? Or did you like it because it had a lot of light? Try to remember why this was a special place for you. As soon as you connect with this place, now, why don't we go to a very important place point in this life, the first really important date that really mattered in this life, that somehow made a difference in a stream of routine, in a stream of days that flew, flowed into nights. Let's go 
into a particular date and time that felt special. Allow yourself to be just simply carried into that date. It's very simple. For as long as you will, as long as you wish to go there, it is already granted to you. Look around. The scenery has changed. What are you seeing? What are you seeing around you that has changed? Where are you? Do you know? What is happening? Look around and explore. What is this scene? Why is this day important? What makes this, this day so special? Feel free to stay here and explore this special day for as long as you want, even if you need to pause this recording. If you're ready to move on and explore other important points in this life, though, you can follow me. Now, let's transition to another really important date in this life. They don't have to be in a chronological order, but often they would appear to be in chronological order. So allow the wind of time to transfer you to another day in this life that holds a special meaning, that holds something else that you need to know about, that holds a memory that you need to reconnect with, that holds something that has been calling your name and you didn't even know. Look around. The scenery has changed again. Do you know what age you are? Are you younger or older than you were in the previous scene? Does your body feel different? How is your health? Do you feel happy? How do you feel in this day? Who are you with? What is happening? Are there people around? What is the scenery? Take in the scenery and explore this day, this scene. Know that there is something special here for you, something hidden, something that you need to remember. Look around and let yourself explore and watch something that is really, really important. Feel free to stop this recording if you need to. Whenever you're ready to move on, let's move on to one more day that is important to you. One more day that holds a message that you need to see. Once again, allow the wind of time to transfer you to that very, very important day. Watch as the scenery is changing. Watch as you're being transported into another day, another time in that lifetime. How does your body feel? Are you older or younger? Who surrounds you? Or perhaps you are alone? What clothing are you wearing? Why is this day special? What are you seeing? What are you witnessing? What are you feeling? What are the memories that are streaming back to you? You can stay here and explore if you'd like. You can even stop this recording if you'd like to stay with this memory longer. If you're ready to move on, 
let's move together to the very last day of this life. The very last day that you were alive in that lifetime. Where are you? Who surrounds you? Are you alone? Are you with others? Who are you surrounded by? How are you feeling? Are you feeling sick? Tired? Or perhaps the opposite? Whatever that is, there is always a message in your last day. There is always that feeling that you have in your last day that is a very special feeling. So how are you feeling in this last day? Are you feeling that this was a life well lived? Or are you feeling like it was a life of missed opportunity? Are you proud of what you have done? Are you happy with yourself? Are you glad that you've come so far? Do you have any regrets? And if so, what is your biggest regret from this lifetime? What do you regret the most? If you were to relive this life, if you had a chance to start all over again, is there one thing you would have done differently? What would you do differently? Now, as you are watching this last day of your life, go to a moment as your soul is leaving your body and is starting to flow up and up and up, your body no longer belongs to you. Your body is left below somewhere on the ground or in the bed. That body felt heavy and now you feel light and you're going up and up and up onto a cloud and you're sitting down as this being of light onto a cloud and there is a neighboring cloud right next to you and on this cloud there sits an angel this angel has been one of your guardian angels this angel knows everything about you, and this angel is here to help you. As you look down into the light that you just lived, into the, this incarnation of yours, what do you know to be true from this higher vantage point? What do you know to be true about this life? What is the significance of this life for you? Why was it shown to you? Why do you think? Whatever answers come to your mind are the right answers. These are the exact answers that you're meant to have. Look at your guardian angel. He or she is here to help you understand this experience. You can ask your angel why you have been shown this life today. Why they wanted you to see this particular life. What is the lesson that this life has that is applicable to the life that you're living right now? Listen to what your angel is telling you.
You can even have a conversation with your guardian angel in regards to this life and any messages that he or she has for you. Does he have any guidance? Is there anything that you need to know today to be able to move forward in your current life in the best way possible? What would they like you to know? Feel free to soak up the guidance. It may come as words or as energy, as a frequency, or just as a feeling deep down in your bones. Let the information sink in. Feel free to stop this recording if you want to converse with your guardian angel longer than this and ask questions. When you are ready, you are going to be going back You can find the entrance to the well. Go back through this garden. It's daytime and the sun is shining and you are returning to the well that you used to get here. Only now, you're going to be floating up into that well into its welcoming darkness. As you're standing right below the entrance to the well, allow your body to just start floating up, 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 up the familiar darkness. The darkness that feels safe and warm and so familiar. Allow yourself to go up, up, and up, returning to the present moment in time, present day. Find yourself reaching the other side of the well, the original entrance that you came through. Feel free to exit the well as you reach its end. Now you're back in the story-filled garden where it's nighttime and the moon is shining so brightly. If it feels good to you, you can walk back into the river of time and let it wash away any worries, especially if the life that you have seen had any negative emotions in it. Allow the water of the river of time to just wash that away. Allow it to take any of your worries, any of your troubles and cleanse you Stay here for as long as it feels right, and whenever you're ready to come back, feel free to take three deep breaths, and whenever you're ready, just open your eyes.